Morning, sir. Morning. Morning. The master of mind games. Disrespectful. Big game player, mid-table team keeper. Emi Martinez has as many fans as he has haters around the world. The Argentine is considered by many as one of the best in his position, while others think he's far from it. So is Dibu Martinez overrated? We'll look to find out in this video and hear what you have to say about it. Is he overrated? Yes. Emi Martinez has achieved some fantastic things with his national team, but is he really the world-class goalkeeper some fans say he is? Dibu spent almost a decade warming the bench at Arsenal or going on loan to earn some much needed game time. Finally, after six loan moves and sporadic appearances for the Gunners, the Argentine made a permanent move to Aston Villa ahead of the 2020-21 season when he was almost 28 years old. At Villa Park, Martinez was instantly first choice, but his numbers were never befitting of a world-class shot stopper. The former Arsenal goalkeeper has conceded 1.3 goals per match for the villains and has failed to lead his team out of mid-table mediocrity. With Emmy in goal, Aston Villa finished in 11th in 2021, 14th in 2022, and sit 11th again in the Premier League at the time of recording. Trophyless since his departure from the Emirates, Dibu has big dreams, and he hopes to win the Champions League? I won the most beautiful title there is with the national team, and now I'm aiming for the most important club title. I have the feeling that today I have the level to play the Champions League and try to win it. The goalkeeper has only played nine European games in his career, all of them with Arsenal. But if he really wanted a taste of what playing elite level players felt like, well, Kylian Mbappe taught him a lesson during the World Cup final. The PSG and France striker scored a hat trick and even showed Emmy that even though he's won titles, being a world class player isn't a given. Which brings us to his performances with the Argentine national team. Martinez is a World Cup winner and nothing will ever change that. But was Dibu really as influential as many might think? We've already covered Mbappe's hat trick in the final as Emmy couldn't prevent Killian from staging an almost miraculous comeback, but he also failed to keep a clean sheet against their perceived weakest rivals, Saudi Arabia. Similarly, in the quarterfinals against the Netherlands, a game that seemed to be controlled by the Alba Celeste, they descended on Emmy's goal and tied the match with a last minute finish. In total, Argentina conceded seven goals in seven games at the World Cup. But somehow, Dibu won the Golden Glove Award in Qatar ahead of the likes of Yassine Bono and several other great goalkeepers. I mean, come on, something doesn't add up, right? Is he overrated? No. Is there a better stage to show your true value than the World Cup? Emi Martinez proved that he's a man for the big occasion, a clutch keeper if there ever was one, and he earned a place amongst the greatest in his position. Dibu had already been instrumental in Argentina's Copa America triumph back in 2021 and a year before in the FA Cup final when he led Arsenal to that title. But somehow, the goalkeeper still needed to justify his place in Qatar. And that's when the king of mind games appeared once again. Martinez became famous after trash talking Yeri Mina in the Copa America semifinals. But in the World Cup, he went a step further. Besides constantly berating the takers, Emmy danced every time he saved a penalty. His incredible ritual worked almost perfectly with Martinez making three penalty shootout saves, two against the Netherlands and the other versus France. And how can we forget his antics before Aurelien Chouameni's effort in the final? But wait, before you start shouting that he's just a penalty kick saver, let us remind you that Dibu also made some spectacular saves in normal time. First, he threw himself toward Australian forward Garang Kual, who had a last gasp chance. Do we even have to remind you of what happened in the 123rd minute? Holomuani had the World Cup title at his feet, but his shot was sensationally stopped by Emmy's left leg, becoming arguably the most important save in World Cup history. A save so important that even Kolomuani confessed he has nightmares about it to this day. Martinez won the biggest title there is and he was fundamental to the Alba Celeste's success. Dibu's heroics in Qatar didn't come out of nowhere. It was the culmination of three years of consistent progress. First, usurping Bernd Leno and helping Arsenal to achieve FA Cup glory. Second, due to his spectacular rise with the Argentina national team, where he went from almost unknown to indispensable within a month. 
month. And what about his journey at Villa Park? It may be true that Martinez concedes way more goals than with his national team, but that doesn't necessarily mean that his performances aren't good. Not at all. In fact, he was voted Aston Villa's Player of the Year in 2021. But above all the reasons mentioned, Emmy has one of the strongest mindsets in football. In 2019, after being called up to his national team for the first time in eight years, he just knew that the best was yet to come. Es un paso más en mi carrera. Quiere decir que estoy haciendo las cosas bien, pero como te dije, mi, mis metas son mucho más de las que son ahora y lo voy a cumplir. This guy is the personification of self-confidence and resilience. Is Emmy Martinez overrated? In our opinion, the answer is no. And most of you guys agree with us, see? But don't worry, we're not just going to lean on poll results. Of course, we will justify our response. Forget about his dancing, his trash talking, and even his antics towards rivals. What makes a good goalkeeper great? His saves in the most crucial moments? His winner's medals? Relieving pressure for his teammates? Is it how they lead both on and off of the field? Well. Martinez checks all of those points. Yes, his practices may not be the most uh, politically correct, and there's always gonna be fans who sensationalize his performances simply because they love him. It's just like ISMZ commented in our poll. He's not overrated and he's not underrated. Considering he has had a huge part in both Copa America and the World Cup, it is safe to say his career is a success regardless of what happens at club level. That doesn't mean he's the best goalkeeper in the world. Nobody is saying he's the undisputed number one goalkeeper in the world. There are several great shot stoppers out there, notably his two rivals for the best award, for example. But Martinez is deservedly in the reckoning thanks to his achievements over the past couple of years. Bear in mind that this is a guy who spent his first decade as a professional on the bench, and his meteoric rise has coincided with a World Cup win. Doesn't he deserve credit for that? And can't his sudden rise absolve him of blame for his somewhat outlandish antics? In our opinion, Emmy Martinez is a great goalkeeper. Probably not the best of the world, that's an entirely different conversation, but Dibu has deservedly made a name for himself in football history. Y cuando comencé con la selección, yo quería ser eh, campeón del mundo. Hoy lo logré, soy campeón de América, campeón del mundo. And the thing is, he's that type of player, the one that if he plays for your team, you love him. But if he plays against you, oh man, do you ever hate the guy. That is the X factor that makes him a standout footballer. Do you agree with us? Or do you think he is totally overrated? Let us know in the comments, but remember, let's respect each other's opinions down there, okay? Because after all, this is just a game. We've talked a lot about Emmy Martinez's performances in this video, but you know, the goalkeeper has earned a lot of haters throughout the years. Why on earth is Dibu hated so much? Check out Oh My Goals video to find out more. See you next time.